Extension Entomologist for the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. It's that time uh, right now that a lot of growers and consultants are asking about insecticide seed treatments and uh, the questions that we're getting out there right now, particularly in soybeans, is uh, should I use an insecticide seed treatment at all? And, and, and certainly there's a lot of data out there that would, would indicate that that the seed treatments have some very beneficial impact for uh, soybeans. In soybean production, we are so front loaded in our cost. A lot of growers ask the question whether or not seed treatments have value for them. Our studies tell us that, that on the average, seed treatments increase yields by about three and a half bushels per acre. So there's certainly some value there to our producers. Now one of the questions that we get is which one of those seed treatments is best? Which one should I go with? There's, there's several out there and, and, and uh, I'm confused on which one to go with. And, and my basic reply to that is, is get the best value that you can. Uh, all these seed treatments provide the protection that you want and, and the vigor uh, that we see oftentimes with seed treatments. So they all do a good job. I would pick the one that was cheapest go with the best price that you can get because there's not enough difference between the seed treatments to pick one. Uh, but I would tell you which, whichever one you pick, put it on the seed to start your production in 2012. Your Arkansas Soybean Podcast is a production of the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture and was funded in part by the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board. For more information on soybean farming in Arkansas, contact your local county extension office.